a COVID-19 compliance sport check. Health and safety protocols are proving to be a challenge for many. Wearing of masks and social distancing still a struggle. It is because uh, when they are in, inside the shops, né, they faint because uh, those masks, they don't breathe properly. That's why they faint. So, because it's very hot here. Yeah, in Pumalang, it is very hot. And I'm concerned that they will die. They must always follow the protocol. As COVID-19 cases surge, so is the hospitalization of more patients. We're having over 300 and something uh, 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 people that are hospitalized, of which is something that is a concern because on a daily basis we are seeing an increase in the number of people being hospitalized. So that on its own, it tells us that the people that are uh, positive now with COVID-19, they are no longer having mild symptoms. They are now severe. And lack of compliance remains a headache for authorities. We are having more than 4,040 active cases meaning that uh, uh, previously, before the festive season, we were recording less than 1,000 active cases. But since uh, the 16th, the week of the 24th, we have now seen an increase in the province. First, it needs to be issued a let the letters to tell them that as they are not complying, we are going to come with a fine so that they can comply and follow the rules uh, for COVID-19. Because we can't work without following the rules. It's a problem. With the festive season over, authorities are expecting more cases as many will be returning home and back to work. Dumela Machoho, SABC News, has a view.